Hi, this is Alec with MPAC. Today we're going to review the wide variety of containment berms that MPAC has to offer. We'll show a setup of each berm as well. We're going to have a little friendly competition. Helping me out today are John Carlo, Matt, and Chris. They're going to each set up a different style of berm. Let's get to it. Loser has to clean everything up. While they get started, let's come over and check out at one of our styles of berms. This is what we call a stinger snap foam berm. It has two different styles built into one berm. It has a one foot tall sidewall stay here that folds up nicely for when you're storing it. It's all welded to the berm so you can't lose it. There's no pieces to lose. And then on the end caps, you've got a foam one foot sidewall. This allows a truck to drive in and out after you've set it up with no additional setup. So you can see this wall will just fold right down when a truck drives over it and snap back up. We've also got a few of our accessories in this berm right now to show you how those work. Underneath, you'll find the ground pad. This is a three layer membrane that we use to protect the berm from punctures underneath in case you're on uneven or rough terrain. It also allows the berm to slide around when you get truck tires on it so that it doesn't create a hot spot, put a hole in the berm. On top of the berm, we've got track mat. And this track mat is a heavy duty belting that allows the truck to drive in without having anything that's in the tires puncture the berm itself and ruin the sump. Let's take a walk around so you can get an idea of what it looks like. Then we'll check back in with those guys, see how they're doing. Looks like Chris is taking the early lead. He's doing our most intuitive style berm setup. This we call our Stinger Snap-Up Berm. You can see it's got a similar stay design to the Snap Foam. It's a one foot tall model. This is a 10 by 10. You can see he only has two stays left to go and he's gonna take the lead and be done with that setup very quickly. It's the easiest model we have to set up. Like I said, the stays are integral. <laughs> oh, we got some uh, sabotage going on. <laughs> the stays are integral so that you can't lose them. Everything stays together. The best part about a containment berm is it folds up. It's portable containment. You can drive a truck into one with, the, with our larger sizes, or you can use a 10 by 10 like this for storage of many IBC containment totes or 55 gallon drums. You can see here, we've got each berm serialized so you can have accountability. If there's a problem with one, you can let us know. We'll say when it was produced, what the problem might be, and we'll take care of it for you. Matt is setting up a Stinger Spill Pal getting some help from Chris so that Giancarlo can't, you know, take the second place victory here. <laughs> he has a foam sidewall set up. It's great for a wash down pad. It's also used extensively in the fracking industry for putting frack tanks on. This is our smallest model. It's also our economy model. So it's made from PVC. But we also have two other models that are made from heavy duty fabrics. And those are great for long term use in the field. The foam sidewalls along the entire perimeter allows for it to be driven over from any angle. Lastly, we have a standard style, which is an aluminum L-bracket. Similar to the snap-up design in the fact that you're using an L-bracket stay, but this is actually made of aluminum. It's one foot tall. It's very low profile because there's no skirt extending from the sump but you have loose parts. So potentially you could lose a stay if you're moving in and out, setting up berms in different spots. All right, as you can see, we've got all three of our containment berms set up now. Each has its advantages depending on your unique situation and your spill containment needs. Secondary containment berms, again, are great because they're portable, they're lightweight, and they're easy to set up. They take just minutes, and you can use them in a wide variety of situations. Check out some of our other videos to see the great flexible containment options that MPAC has to offer. And remember, this is just another way that MPAC is protecting the environment and your bottom line.